Thank you. Um, honestly, when you reached out and asked for a collection, I wasn't entirely sure what you would get either. So this has been like a wonderful surprise for the both of us. Um, thank you so much for believing in this as much as you have, um, for the many conversations we've had about formatting on kind of typesetting this on the way in which it's even kind of been put together. And like, you've kind of let me have so much space just to kind of tell you what I want the book to be and how I have kind of envisioned it. And it's been uh, a really good process. So thank you so much. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm very bad at doing singular poems um, and the collection is, is no, <laughs> um, and since a surprise to absolutely nobody, the collection is, no different. Um, it's a durational kind of eco-crip um, process. So I got stuck in Singapore over COVID for almost two years. And so quite unwisely, I started counting the number of days in which I'd been separated from family, friends, um, all of that fun stuff. Um, and so it kind of started to be the way in which the book was organised. Um, I'm just going to do like a, a kind of start to finish without much uh, ramble between them. But if this works, I should be able to share my screen. Um, can you all see, ooh, can you all see a screenshotted Instagram photo from Lisa Robertson? Yes, I'm getting thumbs, good, okay. Um, all right, without much further ado. 398. I lived between 14 military bases, in so much pain the bombs would weep, pumpkin pip seed messages denoting time, the pit boy counting units of radiation, the radar a nautical investigation. The commons are here at the beginnings of water. I'll be right back. I'm just going to get a black pen. The root word for blacken is the same word for bleach, bleak and total whiteness. To some of our most sacred text, genre doesn't really apply. When I write, says Mary Rufel, in madness, rack and honey, my gender becomes genre. To some of our most sacred text, gender doesn't really apply. So I was off the radar, out of algorithmic fidelity, to be untraceably genre untrackably gendered. It's to live untargetably, as in things. As the mirrors are blackened and bleached, so absorption voids the image. This is still an archive and looking for a place for to hide. Perhaps I should not be writing at all, a poetics of pips that knows how long I have left to plant or search for soil, a kinship to acknowledge the land and the possibility for grounding, whether it'll merge or look back in laughter or cold water. I have no interest in weapons or their complicity. I am love hungry. I want to reply to you once I understand where the light is coming from. Blur with me, I have failed the song of living blue with me. I finished that poem and the next day my brother died, said Peter Gizzi on day 395, the 29th of January, 2021. On the 1st of February, Lisa Robertson's Instagram answers back in an image of 26 theses on craft. She writes, 24, there is always something to do. 25, blank. 26, craft against death. 405, time is still a God-derived style. The way we organise energy and space aligns us in dialogue with our being in the world. I'm misquoting for Sower. It's all the same line. All you have to do is put quotations around it. Sense-making, movement, and a state of being intrinsic to water. Perhaps we'll never pass through the same, never stand on the same pain twice. I cannot write out the singular desire to escape the body. One of the earliest pioneers of cyberspace was a lyricist for the Grateful Dead. I went out of my body as bad as that old white man in the earliest stages of the internet, a liquid self-effacing onto the street. I don't want to be a medical sloganeering, an industrial habitat or the clarifying mechanism of the moon. Fuck me or gut me, it's all the same address. If one grows sentimental, then in pain, then I must live like a nostalgia, millimetres away from my skin. I am fleshed out of painkillers in the kingdom of this world. Part of doing this is not wanting to do this. I don't know if language will be warmer, living one degree north of the equator where pain never comes in with a cold, but there's no such thing as the winter and the monsoons too have a spell. I don't want to make this thesis a violent spectacle of my undiagnosed survival, but the truth makes me visible to inquire after pain's manifold geometries, exceeding all expectations. Pain knows me before I do. I'm trying to cultivate a fidelity to my own epistemological reality. Being thin of light, we lose today and split infinite nowhere. It's becoming grievable information. Isn't there a word for this? To chart cosmic anatomy relative to the measurement of the universe. They talk about the concern to get out the body in the first manifesto of the internet. The death of the author is there, the death of the body, the Facebook boomer, Gen X, the clouds broke open the moon. Here I am talking to my own bud again, the violent implication and me still homesick. 574. A taste of the metaphor and low lights burned all through the night. It's fine, I snuck in quietly. 
I'm in your blood. Replace language that antibodies here. The screen holds so much time, the ghosts give a silent ovation. This is my fifth move in 18 months. I leave spiderwebs by the window to go looking for the sky, a garden I don't find, but there's a bolt between the door and its frame, which is to say, I break onto the roof instead. Come stand beneath the solar panels with me. On the 14th floor, the construction site, light sparks falling down the building side, stair gray storm case, storm grace, even affectively boundless, it's never out of bounds. This pain is hostile to the soul. It tells me I too have this capacity. The macaques come in again on day 574, the 27th of July, spilling uncooked grains of rice, take my roommate's coffee pods, granola breakfast cereal, another blank reel of Polaroid film. I wonder if I've seen these macaques at a poetry reading, leaving an edible pattern of cereal on the air conditioning unit outside the kitchen window, another coffee pod, the contents on the railing. They tear open the film, the ink at the base of the square, their black fingerprints, white film tear all of them apart. My concern about these, I've made an ink eaters out of macaques, an ingestion of the untraceable kind. I keep the film and their fingerprints, protest on the legal substance in this place. Arbiters of safety deem coding class B. On the first day of induction, the cops announced I, I could be expelled, ejected from the institution and the state if they find it in my blood. And I know it is a scare tactic, that the threat and I are inseparable. 580. The noumenon is calculated as limits bound the truth. No creases, corners, or rift to geologize. Perhaps I ask too much of the scale when the economics of law and neoliberal capital require the index to be unrepresentative. The entitled security when we could no longer tell what was cake and what wasn't won't scan a body of the screen, a compression of signs or their names on which we may still perish, bite me. An inability or severance from painkillers, medication, feeling for whichever love coexists could write all poetry left in the world and to death be no more grievable. Don't accustom. Death warms the ground, the earth is hot with us in it. Sleep poached today, it woke me sleepless. For sure, for sure. Alpha Bessa, Milo, chocolate biscuit factory in the air, the past of self taking, the money bland slip between immigrant, migrant, emigrant, our enemies have aged as well. These ripe wrists, the thicket breathe back to life, lacrimose, lion eyes come up and scream green grocery. The troposphere, it was all still a version of happiness, the lexicon of the age. It announced us as small fragments of larger crises. We are made of fresh blood, throwing hands under the air in negative dimensions of joy and jubilant light. 602. Come spend a life with me as rain paints the window outside. Watch this land move on me, all 712 stanzas home, the geometry of an octodecagon, the MRT mass rapid transport system, an 18-sided polygon, the shape of celestial verse. In line with the revision of stipend rates by MOE, the Ministry of Education, we wish to inform you that the word has gone over my throat. In states of accidental feeling, you're watching me as I make this. I would never let you down, our surveillance the next best thing. Our acts of flirtation overseen by my MINDEF agent transposed out of the American police state. Feel the sun, forget your eyes, unfathomable death and eternal time. I know no longer light to clog the flow of data, to look inwards, be sun subscribed. I wish I had your sense of vision, obstreperous lemniscate, to convey the sound of affecting silence. On day 594, the 16th of August 2021, a body falls from a US military plane leaving Kabul, a harrowing circulation in flight, the day bungee jumpers scream over Siloso Beach, sooner or later a verb, exsanguination, dear students and colleagues, on day 601, the 23rd of August 2021, we would like to inform you the university's wastewater surveillance and testing has detected COVID-19 ribonucleic acid RNA at Hall 16, Block 61. And so tenderness, I add to my addiction. In view of this wastewater sampling test result, all 38 residents in the affected Block 61 must undergo a supervised antigen rapid art test today. The world, now run away. The world, now run away. The sad train is now. I go outside and it smells like chocolate again. Another bomb detonates at two minutes to midnight and another and another. The colonial project means destruction. There will always be another. Six hundred and fifteen. This number will last. Instant heavens, pleasant dreams, please stay with me. I get to myself by looking away at the edge of the evening. This is it. The number last of wild ray thought, the last extent of lost. There are ghosts that engender one soul. 
On day 616, I see a wild boar in the field outside campus where stray dogs roam, as if I carry freedom in seeing the sky and my phone from under my face, as though I might still get away with it. Dreams of summer, like mountains, mountains, the process of approach, all these badly written moments, the contingent possibility of restarting, an impossible invitation that has never been made, cut me loose. The scar above my heart is the constriction of genre. Gender is genre body double, reach across the construct, the lightning up stages, the ants congregate about my hairband. It is impossible to engage with simplicity or non-complicity, check the record except this immaterial art, desire across another page of water. There'll be no change in anything, whatever this is we raise together, the newest distance that seems connecting yesterday to today, as abundance speaks to brevity. Never expect force to make room, this babel babble that makes violence more visible. It doesn't matter if we make up the steps. Look at these haunted girl bones that translate durian to private sorrow. The difference between seeing and knowing is a mile away. On day 618, Sarah Fletcher's uh, tweet quotes Rebecca Buxton's link to Judith Scar's review of Elaine Scarry's The Body and Pain. Pain, Scar writes, isn't a subject that has to be left entirely to biology. On the contrary, like torture and political oppression, pain is everybody's business. If you've understood this, throw it away. If you can't understand it, throw it away. I still insist on your freedom. 645. Like fingertips covered in turpentine, this naval tin now even this paint stripper holds an exclamation, a retrospective of dying young, on the land between storm drains and military state affairs where kidney discourse is the new centre of living. I give myself away. The world isn't here. On day 645, the Minister for Home Affairs declares the part to Parliament that the rule of law is a concept for lawyers, but it doesn't operate in the real world. Discussing the FICA Foreign Interference Countermeasures Bill, just quoting this is a separate sedition, a chargeable offence, a fecal matter position. I have no idea where he is, but to look for God and their power against demagogy. I want to roll in the cow grass, its commonplace bovine stems. Even here, we will need the ocean to survive. In pain, there is no end inside it. 679. Imagination is an infinite resource I refuse to treat with scarcity. Some of the last graveyards on the island lie a little further west of this campus with 30% more land made out of the sea. A gathering storm turns the sky yellow. Celebrate while whilst light is elsewhere. The memory of a man turned to waste. Keep track of the places that change time. Inside every quantum colour where dread breathes in different intensities and money immolates all the names we give to ourselves. There were armed Gurkhas guarding my school, so the myth, rumour, legend goes. The machine gun mounted turrets after 9-11. To survive this age, from where does your pain radiate, my ex asks, as it comes from the absolute centre of me. Still searching for reason without recourse to protest, pain has unmitigated impunity. The signboard above the doorway tells me this is all an archive, the state's unconditional cruelty as macaques play on the covered landslide in Bukatima Nature Reserve. This day is as long as Singapore is, says M. Rabi on day 679, when the Gensman test positive for COVID in the courtroom and is declared unfit for death. Who art our saviour? We shy away from the cameras, praise the man in the mask decorated with cannabis leaves, these small acts of resistance, the National Gallery loop rooftop leaking in the rain. We stand in line, bearing witness to all the ways this was all fall apart. Look to the stars, right back, of blood and feeling. Log off the world, the space Twitter demands of me. The signboard above the doorframe tells me help becomes desperation, where upwards and back are the same, or as Heraclitus once put it, this place is made of us and the unelected mantle of poetry. 693. Every email from SIA is a new stanza in the gospel of flight. An Isuzu truck full of tyres passes in the next lane on the bus to the train station. While Daikin perfects the air, tell me, there's nothing I won't do to see the people I love. As do not talk signs appear in every carriage, there's no difference between public and private speech. Silence requisitioned to the level of decibels. It's a relief to hear a baby cry, something blameless. On day 693, we read as it's announced on Jurong Island, the burning man and waste will transform into an energy and chemicals park. Envisage Singapore's even see chemical and uh, electrical sector increasing. The groundbreaking shell plant in Palau Bukom that will turn plastic waste into oil, a feedstock for petrochemicals, an imagination of Shell's pyrolysis oil upgrading units, the potential carbon capture and test bedding facility. The same day, Tom Scott uploads a video on inhaling radon for pain relief. I take Anne Carson's knocks out the library, sleep next to it for months, unable to open its grief folded pages. I go to drag lights alone. There are love letters I don't accept and messages about the moon continents of life as they happen in car seats. I still can't drive, or my journey's a matter of public record. My heart is full of sedition against the state, collecting references tonight and hours cracked open. 
I trip over in the dark, my knees the colour of a dead cat. You'd look so hot after top surgery. As a friend shares my joy, there's so many people on the train at midnight as I catch the last bus home. Zero. There are many falling rainbows, burning cloud fire skies. I'd missed the long momentum in the trains, the bearable whiteness in the stairs on this countryside platform. I turn my music down, listen to the conversations around me, the sheer veracity of English. Thank you for keeping my heart, Instagram proposal and the flower dome man on the circle line playing the harmonica. Snow, snow, snow. This layer frozen, the year wrapping itself up. On the 1st of December 2021, I watch my breath condense and I know that here too I am home. Make my heart shake, fog up the glass of my eyes. I walk from Marlebone to Baker Street, Victoria, Charing Cross, Embankment Tower, Hill, Heron Tower, Liverpool Street, Victoria, York Road, Waterloo. Catch the underground to Algate East, Tower Hill, the train from High Wycombe to Wombra. We walk to Whitechapel Gallery to see Yoko Ono's mentorpiece for London, healing in porcelain, glue and string. I stop frantically writing for the feeling of being touched, being hugged in the depths of the night. I turn my music all the way down. I don't sound out of place. On the sideboard by the door, Yoko Ono says mend carefully. Think of mending the world. And I want to. I want to. All at the same time. 